this is my piece of shit Mustang. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are in beautiful Los Angeles. We are currently in Malibu. And if you guys have not been keeping up with the videos, then why? Watch the last video. Otherwise you will be pretty confused to why I'm standing next to my new Shelby GT500. Yes, I bought a Shelby GT500. If you didn't know that, make sure you go back and watch the last video. That was the delivery video. But today's video will be an in-depth review of my Shelby GT500. So here is my new Shelby GT500 in this beautiful bright green called Grabber Lime. You guys all know that I love green, so I had to pick a car that was green. It took me weeks and weeks to find this current spec with the green with the Recaro seats which I will show you guys in just a second but after weeks of looking I found one in Los Angeles which is such a coincidence considering I was going to bring this car to Los Angeles and film with it regardless so that was kind of cool how I found this in Los Angeles so I really didn't have to ship it out here it was already here all I did is pretty much come and take delivery of it so first thing you notice when you come to the back is this very aggressive looking diffuser you also also got the quad tips I think those are like four or five inch tips I don't know let's measure oh my god those might be five inch tips yeah these are five inch tips you got two here and you got two on the other side you also have the Shelby logo right there and by the way I do apologize I know that this thing is disgusting we've been driving it all day long and also the dealership didn't wash it because I didn't want them to wash it so it's definitely gonna look a lot better than this when I get this thing back to Michigan eventually. I'm gonna have Nick at MC Whips literally paint correct this thing, ceramic coat it, you know, ceramic coat the wheels, PPF the car. There's a lot of work we gotta do, but let's get back to the review now. Also, if you guys notice, the Shelby does not have the original wheels. It has these beautiful 20 inch signature wheels. I heard they were pretty expensive. I'm not sure exactly, they're currently black. I don't know if I'm gonna paint them, maybe, you know, gloss black or bronze or copper, or I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, should I paint the wheels or just leave them set in black? So moving on to the front end, besides that this car is disgustingly dirty, you can see the GT500 engraving right here. You have the Shelby snake right there. You have the hood pins. You have this huge vent, which I do believe is functional. And then here you have Shelby and then you have gloss black stripes that go all the way down to the other side of the car. We also have these huge six piston Brembo brakes and yes, they are dirty and yes, they are red and I'm actually thinking about painting them green to match the car. Let me know what you guys think of that. And then we also have this two piece spoiler. So here is the original spoiler and then this looks like it was screwed on. I think you can have it just with this or with this. I've seen a lot of Shelby's with just this, but I actually like it like this. It looks very, very aggressive. So now it's time to check out what's under the hood. So you click this, click this, pop it this way, pop it that way, you come here, and boom! You got a 5.2 liter supercharged V8 producing 760 horsepower. Boy, that's fast. And I also forgot to mention, it has a seven speed dual clutch. So this car has over $10,000 worth of options. One of them being the handling package, which I have no idea what it does. I really, really don't. Let me know in the comments below. Do some research and let me know. I know I came to this review very unprepared, but that's okay. One of the other options that it was just like a must for me is in here. These beautiful two-tone Recaro seats. They're entirely Alcantara and from the side, they are leather and you got white outline everywhere you got the snake right there just beautiful i mean without these seats i was not going to get this car you also have the full alcantara steering wheel with the flat leather bottom you got the snake here again and you also have the bno sound system has 12 speakers in here and you also have the technology group which i have no idea what that is either but i think this is a good time to turn it on all right foot on brake click this So we also have a digital dash which is very customizable. So here 
this will control the modes and when we put it in sport watch what happens all right i don't know why it's being blurry right now okay better now so watch what happens when we put it in drag strip so the cluster changes and then you got the rpms right there and then miles per hour right there you got a bunch of gauges right there and then also you have this which controls the exhaust so you have active exhaust see quiet normal sport and yeah sounds really good in sport you also have the infotainment system here you got audio you got climate phone nav apps apple you know carplay whatever you call it you got two gauges right here you have this is the shifter which is bam bam sometimes i forget that this isn't the volume button so i'm trying to get used to it and then you got two cup holders more of that white right here alcantara and then you have a plaque right here that says the chassis number and then uh yeah we got one more surprise for you guys so here we got this magical box with the shelby snake on there so you guys are probably wondering what's in here well why don't we open it up come on diego follow me here come on. so where'd you go oh okay oh, here, here so boom put it down you got a bunch of brochures right here you can pick these colors you got the specs right here very very nice very nice you have this beautiful i don't know what this is but you got the shelby booklet right here and then here's the magic so here they give you a flash drive not sure what this is for but it's cute and then we'll get to that in just a second here you have the tool set and then you have the chassis number right here and then they give you a sticker which is pretty cute all right, but here's the magic right here. This is metal, by the way. All right, I'm kind of new to this. All right, so here is, I wish I knew what these were, but I think they're from the supercharger since they're hand built. I think they put a couple pieces of the supercharger or I think they gave me some backup parts in case the Shelby breaks. But <laughs> overall, this is uh, pretty cool that they, you know, gave us this considering when I bought a god red eye and a TRX in the same week they didn't even give me a fucking lanyard they didn't give me like a pen nothing at least when I bought a fucking Ford they gave me all this to make me feel like I'm special even though I know damn well I ain't shit. also one more thing I forgot to mention is that this is hand built and it was built with pride don't you ever forget that and then the person who built it is right there his name is Romeo uh, line so shout out to you my friend we are gonna beat the living hell out of this one and you know just see if it's actually built with pride so you better have not lied but no in all seriousness guys I'm super happy that I got the Shelby I know you guys are all saying how did you manage to sell two red eyes for a Shelby listen I've been doing Hellcat content for a very long time to the point where I can't even look towards the Hellcat way like honestly I just can't I have gotten so fucking tired of Hellcats that I don't even like them anymore not I don't, don't want to say that I do like them but I don't want to own one right now okay I want fresh new content and you know those two red eyes just weren't pulling the views that I need to to own them they costed about $2,800 a month to own not including gas not including insurance not including the mods the tires the maintenance all that shit adds up so it was costing way too much and they weren't producing anything so i know a lot of you guys would definitely want me to own those two red eyes and the shelby if i was rich one day you know but i don't have a rich dad believe it or not even though the place says rich dad i don't have a rich dad so i had to sell them just because they weren't pulling the views and also they offered me a ridiculous amount of money i don't think any of you guys would ever turn that down so i got rid of them and i picked this bad boy out and i think a lot of you guys like the shelby believe it or not even though you guys want to hate for it so bad it's actually a great car and if you don't love it i'm gonna help you see how special this car is throughout my videos and throughout the you know the build so just give this car a chance give me a chance the content is about to be lit and also thank this man for dealing with me for the past five hours you know just running around filming so shout out to diego shout out to you guys for supporting and showing love i love you guys this new build is about to be crazy so make sure you are subscribed make sure your notification bells are on and also Make sure you leave a nice comment below and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.